Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the position of a value within a range of values, but also how to return that value's cell address. So I have a list of the nation's favorite crisps. If I choose hula hoops, that's the favorite crisp, and it's in cell A4. If I choose Doritos, that's the fourth favorite crisp, and that's in cell A7. So how do I do this? Now to calculate the position of the value within the range, we use the match function. Match has three arguments. The first is look up array. So what are we looking up? We're looking up the name of our crisp, comma, look up array is the range we're trying to find the position of our crisp in. So our lookup array is A4 to A9, comma, and we're doing an exact match. We're looking up that exact crisp name. So we choose zero from that list, close the bracket, press enter. So if I change the crisp name, it returns its position. To return the cell address, we can start by using the index function, and we're using the array version of the index function. And the first argument here is array. So that's all the possible cells that we're going to look in our list of crisps. Now the row number is returned by our match function. So we can just point at this cell here. And then we just close the bracket. So what this does at the moment is it just returns the name of the crisp. We want the address of the cell that contains the name of that crisp. And to do that, we can use the cell function. And the first argument allows us to specify what type of information we want to return from that cell. So we're going to specify that we want the address of it, comma, and the second argument is reference, and index will return that reference for us. So if I close the bracket there, press enter, it gives me the cell address of the WhatsApps. If I change the crisp so to Monster Munch, get position two, and I get the cell address of that particular cell. Now in this formula, we are referring to D4 to get our position, our row number. If you want, you can combine both formulas. So if I take this match formula, I can paste it over my reference to D4. So this becomes now an independent formula. It doesn't need a formula over here in D4. Press enter. If I deleted this formula, this would still work whenever I choose a crisp name. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.